Hello fabulous humans, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, then well, hello, how you doing? Welcome. You have just slipped into the most fabulous, or should I say the most feathery place on YouTube, and I am so happy to have you here. Well, now that I have you here, before you get all comfortable and too relaxed, you need to subscribe to the channel, become part of the Glitter and Glam Squad so we can shine together. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you will always be notified when I upload a new video. And while you're at it, hit the thumbs up button so YouTube knows that little old me, I need a little shiny, 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 yeah. Ooh, all of this winnings in this YouTube streets, okay? If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. Thank you so much for the love. Thank you so much for the support. It means a lot to me and I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Now, today's video is my March perfume tray. I will not have a lot of fragrances on my tray just yet because um, I do have some fragrances that I am planning to wear in the month of March. However, I have been receiving some, you know, samples and decants and I want to use March to experience those fragrances. So, um, your girl has been working and um, I have a brand sending me some samples to try out. So I should be receiving those any day from now. I think they should be here. So they're sending me, I think, 10 samples to try from the, like a discovery set. So I will be testing those out. And I want to give myself time to play with fragrances and see what they do. Plus, my girl here, she's a subby. And um, my favorite broker, Melanie the Broker, she sent me decants for fragrances that I also need to try. So with all these fragrances coming in, I just need to give myself some time in month of March to experience and experiment with new fragrances and discover new fragrances. So my fragrances from my collection that I'll be bringing out to wear in March will be you know, a little minimal because I want to explore. So March is for as we're stepping into or marching into March, I will be experimenting new fragrances. And look at, I have four fragrances in here. So this is like four fragrances because this is a 10 meal decan. So I already have four fragrances that I need to, you know, test out in the month of March. So I have a lot of stuff going on. Anyways, if you want to know, what my March, <laughs> after all that ramble, if you want to know what my March um, perfume tray is going to be looking like, it will be all over the place. And you want to know what's in this gorgeous um, 10 mil um, sample sack, then stick around. Oh, why did I close it? I'm supposed to open it up. So let's do it one more time, then stick around. <laughs> That night I said I was recording late. I wasn't recording late. I was just smoking, chilling at a cup of drinks. So let's get into the fragrances. Let's kick this off with the four decants that I will be testing out. Um, that Melanie the broker sent me. She sent me, I think she said this one was um Ambrosia Imperial, which is like a banana fragrance. That I will be testing this out. I've been wanting to try this for a while, so let me see if interesting <laughs> so i need to put this on i need to put it on my skin i need to test it i need to see if it is what it do because everybody has been loving that fragrance and i feel like i'm the last one to have it <laughs> so i have 10 mil decant of that so that will be on my march perfume tray this one this is jasmine rouge and i told her i wanted to try it and it's here and i'm like as it's, it's so strong. I feel like there's tuberose in here and the tuberose is so heavy. I don't know why I did that, but this one right now, I don't know if this is going to make it through the end of March because this, and this is supposed to be a gorgeous fragrance. Oh, there's tuberose in here. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> My March tray is already looking half with that one, that jasmine. I don't know. And you, let me tell you. You know I love Jasmine. But I have been, I had one miss, well, so-so with Jasmine, and now I'm having another Jasmine fragrance. I need to just leave the girl Jasmine alone. So this one is Boom Boom Pop by House of Oud. 
okay this is surprising this is actually so i will be adding this to my march tray and i saw the name bon bon pop i saw the bottle i was like okay it's giving kitty pop play you know i'm a pop of girl not telling tubbies but i'm surprised <laughs> so i will be adding that on my tray i need to wear and test them to see how i really really like them and the last one she sent me is called keep glazed and this is also by the house of oud this is very fruity and strong it's strong i don't know very strong oh, my march is look is marching <laughs> but this is very fruity and i think it'll be good for springtime it's a fruity burst so so those are the fragrances that my girl melanie the broker sent me thanks melanie this will be on my march perfume tray i'm gonna wear this i'm gonna see how it performs how it works with my skin and um just how i'm loving it and you know when i love a fragrance you know this decant will be gone in like four days i'm giving it a week so we will see how these perform when i put them on my skin and which one's gonna survive i am predicting from just initial sniff I am predicting that Bon Bon Pop might like be the first to like run out, but you never know. So let's see how this go. But thanks Melanie for sending this over. I cannot wait to try all of them. The next two fragrances on my March tray are also decans. I told you I'm in my trial season. <laughs> this is Mula Mula that was sent to me by the Aromatic Doctor on Instagram. Oh, this is that La Capital vibes. I will be wearing her more on my skin to see how it goes because I it's a love at first sniff for me, but I want to really wear her in March, what I have left, and see if I'm going to go get a full bottle. I feel like I'm going to get a full bottle. I already made the decision, but I'm fighting it, so I will be wearing her more to see if um, I can fight the urge to not get the full bottle, but I know I need it. The next fragrance on my March sample tray... <laughs> Look at the, <laughs> it's already halfway gone. This is by, you know, my new favorite brand right now that I have been loving their stuff, except for one fragrance that I have here that I will be adding to the March tray. But um, I want to try to make it work. But this is from HFC Paris. HFC Paris has been having a moment with me in 2024. This is called Proposal. Okay. I have been loving Proposal. Now, you know Navanesque is my girl. That was like an instant love at like first sniff. I will be getting a full bottle. So Proposal is in that scent profile as hypnotic poison kind of vibe. It's like an almondy vanilla fragrance. There's heliotrope in here. There's also jasmine. <sighs> okay. I've been loving her. And I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit. You can see that the stuff is already <laughs> running out oh. hfc paris <laughs> what's going on over there in the hq in their headquarters um they've been doing stuff <laughs> this is so good <laughs> there's also black currant in here oh, this is really good i layered this with navanesque but what i did was i did like two three pumps of navanesque and then i used more of this because i'm trying to hold on to what's left of navanesque because i think navanesque is more expensive but this is stunning very strong it is strong and can be in your face but it's gorgeous it has like they know how to make a fragrance smell gourmand but it's not gourmand it just smells sexy and delicious and deep and intoxicating that is the word intoxicating this is uh it's so good especially now we're in the spring when i had but when i got both travel sizes i like the navanesque a lot more and i still do but proposal um it's gonna get me on one knees so i may end up picking both of them up but hfc paris has been They've been hitting over here and I will be getting more from them. I have been enjoying this house. So this will be on my March tray. Now the next fragrance on my March perfume tray. This is like a no brainer. Um, my current addiction. This is Bake by Acro. Oh, look at my, my dent. <laughs> um, 
it's not up to a week i don't think it's up to a week yet and uh, we're dancing already this is i mean what can i say lemon drop it is a lemon cupcake with like frosting all over it it smells like a whipped cream a lemon cakey dessert it is so beautiful so unique it's just amazing and no it doesn't smell like lira but they're like they know each other they said devotion smells like it so i'll be in my lemon bag all spring i really like this this has been my girl with this proposal my wrist proposal is hitting i'm just gonna go ahead and add um my current addiction uh, i can use 10 pumps <laughs> oh iced lemon zest whipped cream candy I just said a moment of I just had a moment of silence for bake absolutely love her the next fragrance on my March perfume tray my second obsession this is opera LL teatro real <laughs> this is Jasmine benzoin and they say spicy notes this stain is beginning to get to me not as much as the Montour ones, but I feel like you get. But it's a beautiful bottle. I actually really love the bottle. I think it's very beautiful. The juice is exquisite. This will be like my signature scent. Well, that's what bake is. But when I'm really, when I want to make a statement, I will be wearing this. This is such a beautiful fragrance. The level of perfumery in here is next to no other. After smelling this, I'm like, you know what? The elevated line of designer fragrances are good. They're hidden. They give you luxury. And you can tell the difference. Like, this is a well-blended perfume. And the jasmine is there, but it's not the star. And I feel like they're hiding what the main players are. Because they're giving us jasmine, benzo, and then they're saying spicy notes. What's in the spicy notes? That's where the good stuff is. But this fragrance to me... It's giving a masterpiece vibe. This is incredible. I will link it down below. If you're able to get this for the price that I paid, you need to hurry up and get this. This is exquisite and will be in the month of March, April, May, June. Maybe after June, I'll slow down. But for right now, she's in March. The next fragrance on my March perfume tray this is another hfc paris fragrance oh i love their bottles it, this white here facing is just so me it's white and gold fun fact um the decor in my house is like white cream and gold so whenever i see this it's like it just reminds me of you know like my living area and the kitchen and everywhere is like white cream and gold but the back has the you know the jasmine but this fragrance, we're not seeing eye to eye. However, I wanted to put her in March so I can give her a chance. I can play with her and see if really um, I would love her. If not, I know that she's not for me because of the jasmine. But the jasmine is funky. I'm holding on to her because whenever I smell it, it smells high quality. It smells beautifully crafted. It smells well formulated. It smells expensive. It does smell like a rich woman fragrance. It's just that the jasmine feels like it's going bad. I don't know. But um, I think it's because it's very funky. So I am on the fence with this one. You know, this is not a love for me. Um, I'm trying to see if it'll be a like. So I'm adding it to the month of March to see if um, I would end up really loving her. But I just want to give her a fair chance because sometimes you would you can smell a fragrance and not like it and you end up liking it. That's what happened with Guidance. So now, even when I smell a fragrance and I don't like it, I don't toss it. I still give it a chance and I wear it and I wear it and then I'll be like, yes or no, it's not for me. So I will be giving her a fair shot. To see what he do or i may layer her and see if she would go you know maybe with casablanca because casablanca gets freaky dicky with all the girls you know of casablanca she will be added to my march 
perfume tray because I use her pretty much with everything. Um, my dentist, Dentin, I wear her by herself, but most times I just layer her with every single thing. I just stop her. So, so Casablanca is definitely going to be on the March fragrance tray. And the next one is what I've been layering Casablanca with, and that's La Via Belle Extrait de Parfum. This is such a stunning fragrance. The iris note sometimes messes with me. I say it all the time, but whenever I wear this, it's very long lasting. It smells like good quality juice. And once I put this on top, I feel like this presses that iris note and brings out apples and caramel. And then here you get rose and incense. Together as a combo, it's so good for spring. And it's also, you know, we're, we're in March. The weather is cool, but it's also warm. Perfect. This is such an amazing combo together. And yes, I will be adding it in my March tray. This two actually stay here, you know, with um, Nikki over there. Because I be wearing them like almost every day, just around the house. I wear this. So if you if you have these two fragrances do yourself a favor and wear them together if you don't you only have one buy this the next fragrance on my march perfume tray the fragrance i've been trying you know the dupe versions this is by dapa and this is um escape gourmand their version it's a it's a dupe um clone is it a clone dupe you get the point regardless of how you feel about dupe houses clone houses at the end of the day, fragrance is subjective. Some, sometimes some people want to save money. Some people, you know, not everybody has it. Budget is different and people should be able to do whatever they want to do. So if you're like a, a clone police, not over here, I really like this. <laughs> I never thought I would, but I really like it. Look, this is my den so far and I've been using her but i think that two fragrances got me in a chokehold so i haven't been using her as much as i thought however i have been layering her with the next one i got from dapa and you can see my dent already now i've been tearing this one up this is their version of stella times by louis vuitton i'm gonna tell you when i put it on my skin it was so close <laughs> on the paper it was given 85 on my skin it was given 95 and i have been using this every day I just put this on and then I put a little bit of their version of Escape Gourmand. I smell rich. <laughs> this is giving <laughs> bougie on a budget. It's like, I'm rich, but I ain't got it. <laughs> That's what this is giving. And if you catch me outside and um, you ask me what I have on, um, best believe um, I'm going to tell you I have on Stella Times and Escape Gourmand. No, I wouldn't do that. I, I don't get keep. I always share what I have on, but... These are the two fragrances that I will be testing. The Escape Gourmand, I will be getting. Stella Times, you know, this is like 5, what is it, 520, 560. <sighs> I'm thinking of picking it up for my birthday. My birthday month is April, so hey, uh, let me just put it out in the universe. I will be picking this up maybe in my birthday, the original Stella Times in April. But this one, I think I'll be adding it you know, in the month of March or who knows, or April. But I will be testing this out and they will be on my March um, perfume tray. The next fragrance on my March perfume tray is Herba Gold from the House of Zerzhov. This is a powerful, it is so powerful and it's also musky. And then it's mango and it feels like there's like melon in here. This is such a fruity punch, a fruity basket. Compliment getter such a compliment getter if you want a fragrance that's going to get you compliment herba gold to get you compliment however i already told you guys um my husband don't like it <laughs> he does not like it so while it's on my march perfume tray i have a few stuff to do in march with my friend we're going somewhere I have a few events that I may attend. I'll probably pull her and wear, but um, I can't wear it in the house because he doesn't like it. He said it reminds him of, you know, a guy he knows that wears something like this. He said it smells exactly like him and he doesn't want, what, it's like, what's going on? No. Had me go take a shower to take it off because he hates it. And I'm like, what? Me, the Zerzhev Queen, and you're going to, I don't need that level of negativity in my life. 
So um, we will be adding this in our March tray. We will just be wearing her when we're going out with the girls and <laughs> we're doing stuff independently. Tomorrow, I think I'm going out, but I'm going out solo, <laughs> solo dolo. So I will be wearing this, but yeah. Should I just go ahead and put this? Um, he's, he's not home, he's not home. So I can put this on and um, get my just do. The next fragrance I'm adding to my March fragrance tray is um, Carmina from the House of Creed. Um, this one is a rich bitch. <laughs> so that's why I'm adding her because I know I will be using her. Uh, my dent for Carmina is um, right above the C, right there. That's where we are. And I cannot wait to add wind flowers. Like I said, it layers so beautifully with wind flowers. I tried it with Queen of Silk. I, I, I wasn't liking it together, but wind flowers was amazing. Um, Virgin Island Water was also good with it, but Carmina will be a player in the month of March and she will be on the perfume tray. But those are some of the fragrances that I will be wearing in the month of March. I have samples coming and I would love to focus on my samples and decans. I want to really try and explore and expand my palette <laughs> in fragrances. So I don't want to keep bringing out like the same ones. Although I said I'm not going to buy fragrances. I said that and I don't want to buy, but I really am in my sample explore bag. I want to test out these fragrances and see the ones that I will be loving and adding to my collection. March is going to be a fun month. I'm, I'm going to explore and discover new fragrances. So I'm excited about it. What fragrances are in your March perfume tray? What fragrances are you going to be wearing in the month of March? Do you own any of the fragrances I talked about? Or are they on your wish list? Let me know in the comments below. Like I always say, in all things, what do we do? We add glitter. Whenever you're in doubt, what we do? We add more glitter. And when all else fails and your back's against the ropes, your back is against the wall. What do we do? How do we get ourselves out of this sticky situation? <sighs> I know I put proposal. It's very strong. Proposal has been hitting it. And I put Herba Gold on, but you see this um, Bake by Acro. Oh, this is going to be my gourmand. Hallelujah. I love this. But... When all else fails and your back's against the ropes, you need lemon cake, a lemon cupcake, a lemon dessert is going to get you smelling delicious and seductive. And when you smell delicious, you smell edible, you cannot be against the wall. You cannot be in a sticky situation. But what we do, we get baked by Acro and we add more glitter. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in another video of course because i'm not going anywhere i'll be right here um using up my bake <laughs> by acro call me my new name that the aromatic doctor gave me was miss acro <laughs> i'm like call me bake by acro so from now on my name is mrs bake acro mm. miss acro if you're nasty 